So that's fine. One HP! Mm. <sighs> You're looking at head one, friend. That one. Sorry, Ash. But really, Ash, anyone who has been watching this game, like, we have several viewers, while well, you've not been around, who, um, are huge fans of Darkest Dungeon, who have stopped playing the game because they've, like, beaten it on New Game Plus, forward and backward. And after watching a couple runs of this game, watching a couple of matches, like, they found a new love for Darkest Dungeon. Executed. So. My Myers has higher rank Lightborn than your Billy. <laughs> That's kind of silly. I'm guessing you ended up getting it from a shrine, or what happened there, Chick? Precision and power. I do, Emai. I do. Uh, Emai's posting a comic that has to do with um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, the new ones. Apparently it contains spoilers, but I haven't played the games at all, so I know nothing about it. So, if you're concerned about spoilers, watch out. But yeah, the other thing, Ash, that I was started talking about and then drifted off is corpses in different areas other than human corpses actually do things now. Skeleton corpses reanimate into another enemy. Uh, corpses in the Warrens can cause blight. Corpses in the Cove can cause bleed. And corpses in the Warrens... Or, uh, the... The Warrens cause disease. The Wield causes blight. So... It's so great, though. A trifling victory. Hey, science! Long time no see. I feel like it's been a while. I don't have a way to do away with bleed. Ow. Ow. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. How did they do that when you attack? They do it? No, um, at the end of the churn. So after everyone else has gone, they get a chance to do their ability. Like skeleton corpses just reanimate at the end of a fight. Uh, what are the knives for in your inventory? Well, you can either use one on yourself to cause a bleed effect, or you can use them to try and pick locks with a character who is roguelike. Um, we've determined that the bounty hunter, the grave robber, and I think it was the highwayman. Those are the three people that we know of who are roguelike. An avenging bone. I'm not sure what that does. Avenging. Should probably kill it just in case. Sword thing in my inventory. This? No. Small dagger. Use it to pick locks. Remember, in this mod there are different uh, interactions with curios and different items. You think avenging debuffs my guys? Ah! Hey, that's awesome, science. Holiday? That is a wonderful excuse to be missing streams. I completely approve. Mobile! <laughs> Mobile, no. Leaning yourself seems kind of counterproductive. Yeah, sure. Um, it is used to pick locks. Oh, avenging debuffs you when you've attacked my scene. <gasps> That's right. We figured that out last week, too. Thank you very much, Maester Silvio. We were actually doing that. Last week, we started a run, and I ran out of money immediately because I did not take it seriously. I was just like, oh, it's just a couple of changes in the mod. It's not going to be that different. And uh, I worked myself into a hole. Like, I spent every penny I had and then ended up failing that run I was on anyway. So, it was a... Uh... You're up against three Dwights, but is the cult of Dwight. Did they buff the healing of the Supreme Class? Um, I will have to check, Ash. I've been a little bit unlucky. Uh, last week when we started to run, we didn't see any antiquarians. Clarified in a we saw an occultist very briefly, and they died immediately. I think we didn't really see any houndmasters either. And I'm told that antiquarians, like, basically got completely reworked. I still have not seen one. So 
There will be no blood left for the leeches. What chain? What the heck are you talking about? I mean, rip for you, Slim, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Nice crit. Oh my god, your Pokedex talks to you now? Wait, what? Alright. Spreading the damage. I expected the Jester to be able to one-shot that. That was my bad. I shouldn't have spread it out like that. Well, I agree with you, Ash. That's why I'm excited to see how they are. So that I can reserve my own judgment for if I feel they are still balanced, if it was a good change. Xantiquarian was my favorite class. May we find so. victory. And that's why I really can't wait to, well struck. to see it myself. Think I'm done with you? Hardly. Loot! Success so nice. clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? There's a lot of traps. A lot of potential stress relief. Roguish nature may yet to prove lucrative. If only treasure Finally, something to flow. smile about. Otherworldly corruption. Uh, we don't have any bandages, unfortunately. I don't think holy water works on these guys, does it? Adrenaline orb? I is the gesture claimed and why? Uh, XD, XP, X3, yeah. And why? Because someone wanted a gesture? <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, you know what? We can use ball work in here to get our tools. We should probably do that at the beginning of the fight. I haven't been. Alright, this one is Prophetic. We have to kill him ASAP. He actually has the abilities of the Prophet. Which means he's immediately gonna call down stones on someone, so we have to kill him before they fall. Ka! Says he. I'm liking how the comic looks, and I was about to shout out what was on there, and then I realized that that would indeed be a huge spoiler. Oh, I was hoping you'd kill it. Nice! close. Now you refuse to be a jester. Baby rage. If I was reading it correctly, you might basically about where everything comes from. Get rid of him. That'll put him in range to be able to finale her. So we're going to want to take out the Alkali now. There can... Oh my god! Mr. Silvio, you're telling me there can be two secret rooms in a long one? My mind is blown. That... Oh my goodness. That does blow my mind, though. Double secret rooms. Never even, uh... Realize such a possibility? I might cry. I might. Alright, let's one-shot her. Dare to join her. Where do you see that they are prophetic properties? If you look at their names, you'll notice that all of these ones, some enemies have different suffixes for their, or prefixes for their name. These ones, these are all standard ones, but the um, Arbalist was called a Prophetic Arbalist. Or whatever they're called, Prophetic Crossbowmen or whatever. So, these ones are regular. So like, for example, if this guy could cause stress with every attack, he would be a horrific cultist brawler. It adds, it adds very different things to mobs. Is that one thing, is that regular in mobs? Yeah. It's kind of nice because, in a way, every encounter you go into might be different. 
you're not always going to see the exact same enemies, because even if they are the exact same enemy as a different group, they might have different prefixes, and therefore you have to treat the fight differently. It really keeps you from getting into the same, like, grind mentality of, these enemies do the same thing, so, I'm liking it so much. Now these corpses I'm letting just sit, because they're human corpses, they, they don't do a lot of any damage. A singular strike. Poor human corpses. We just have to do one damage to the cure gun and should be fine. I think we still have one more turn before we get stressed. Okay, it doesn't matter, it's dead anyway. This dead anyway. Promises success. Everything runs red. Boo. Oh. 70, 60, 90. Cruel machinations spring. Don't worry, you'll get the next one. With a singular purpose. Death! Mechanical hazards possessed by evil mm -hmm. intent. That was. That was great. That was just. Oh look, another trap! Don't worry. I'm just gonna get this one. Ow! Finally, I get my hands on an authentic Eldritch sample. <sighs> Thank googly boogly. Ah, that's actually really cool, Ma um, Maester Sylvia. I keep almost mispronouncing your name. How often do you update this? Not that I'm trying to. Don't. I, please don't get that impression. I don't want to put you on the spot or anything like that. Like, you came in here to like relax and enjoy yourself, and please do that. I am very, very much honored that you're like coming in to see the game, but. We we're bound to ask. So. Bloodthirsty wasn't the worst in a regular game. Oh, the other thing, Ash, is uh, diseases. And I don't think I've picked up any yet, but a lot of diseases are... Oh my god, they're just like breaking on a character. Terrible diseases in this game. Other thing you'll notice, death blow resistance. Much lower initially than other characters. Wait, what about a stylus? What? Huh? Oh, I should have cut out pages. That was a waste. I was hoping we could make it to that room. To fall for such a little thing. Damn. A bite of bread. Virtue? Alright, I messed that up. I messed that up so bad. I was hoping we could get here so I could use my uh, jester for stress relief. I think we can still get it, though. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Set you in front so we can immediately kill an enemy. PBD has been in active development for close to two years now, and during a normal schedule, I can update it as much as a dozen times in a week. Wow. Is the game better balanced overall or more at the mercy of RNG than before? Um, science, I would definitely say in a lot of guards. I don't know, I feel... Oh, we should not tarry. Villainy is on the take. I think it's way too early for me to tell, say anything like, oh, uh, you know, it's better balanced like this, or it's not as well balanced. That one's gotta go. But, um... I would say it feels balanced, but it also, in some regards, feels more unforgiving. Mostly in terms of gold. If you fail a run, like, very much... Um, it feels like it can be much harder to recover from failing a run than it did before. And I'm not necessarily saying that's like a bad thing, that just is a lot of like, you need to plan. Even if it's planning for failure. Like, make sure you have enough money back in the base so that you can buy supplies for another run. Of all the ones they turned into, it had to be that one. 